Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today I am going to tell you about Now platform interfaces. So there are different service Now platform interfaces. There are three Now platform interfaces. So first is Next Experience Navigation Now Mobile App Service Portal. So there are three ways through which service Now users can interact with Now platform. Each of the three components provide a different interface targeting different device and purpose. All of these interfaces access the same single system of record and common data model of the now platform. As you can see, this is Next Experience Unified Navigation, Service Now Mobile App, Service Portal. So there are three ways to interact with Service Now platform. So next is next experience unified navigation so next experience unified navigation it is the primary way to interact with applications and information in service now instance next experience feature include landing pages navigation menus design with tabs for all application and modules history space workspaces favorites and user menu as well as you can see in the screen this is the next experience unified navigation that is new ui so here you can see the menus will be displayed under this section and this is itil dashboard contextual app fill so what it does is like it will provide the name of the application which which is currently open on this on this content frame and this is the global search where we can search all that tickets and relevant information provided in ServiceNow platform. And this is the notification notification icon where we can check the notifications which is aligned to that particular user whoever the person is logged in. And this is the help section where we can demand help with the support person and this is the user menu where we can go to our profile and check the user preference as well as impersonate the user and we can elevate role and as well as do logout as part of this next experience ui so ideally we can access next experience unified navigation using our desktop or laptop through a web browser most web browsers are generally supported so only the browser which is not supported is Internet Explorer. Rest all browsers, next experience UI will be supportable. And next UI is ServiceNow mobile applications. So there are two persona focused mobile app in ServiceNow. First is ServiceNow mobile agent. Second, Now mobile. So these apps helps agent and employees work more efficiently and productive productively on the go select the flashcard below to learn more about service now mobile app and its target audience so first one is like service now mobile agent service now mobile agent is targeted to the role of fulfiller it supports the need of those fulfilling requests for products and services across the enterprise so Another way we can call mobile agent as service desk people also. Now mobile app. Now mobile app is targeted to the needs of an employee. It includes functionality such as reporting broken items and finding available conference rooms. These apps can be downloaded from the application store and configured by application developers in Now platform with the features, functions and details needed for your business. The same expectation you have for all your other mobile applications outside of work now also apply to ServiceNow mobile apps. So reason to use ServiceNow mobile app. So it is completely native using the device built in features. It is codeless and rapid development of new applets. Ability to submit view and update request issues and tasks global search to find people service and items and articles Fulfillers to complete work while not connected 
push notifications for access to important information instantly access to virtual agent and knowledge articles so these are the reason why we should use service now mobile app so so why for using now mobile app we have to download it from apple ios store and as well as google android store from the apple app store and google play store so this can be downloaded and used by the users so another way of ui is service portal so what is service portal service portal provide a user friendly self service experience by providing access to specific features using widgets users are able to search for knowledge articles catalog items existing records or submit request browse the corporate news feed and much more so the service portal home page can be accessed by navigating to the instance url with slash sps it can be changed according to organization as well so instead of sp you can use any organization url also and then both expert and developers and beginners with proper permission can configure portal to create engaging experiences less technical users can make basic configuration changes to ui using branding editor and other components of service portal advanced user can edit and extend portal's widgets expert user can use the widget editor tool to write script to power a portal and even create a rich, rich web applications on the now platform so this is the ui how it looks for service portal we can see the user can search knowledge articles and he can raise a request in under catalog section or request something and under request he can find existing tickets or request which is raised under system status we can check the status of any application which is down and in cart functionality generally used whenever we are raising any catalog items and this is the user menu and this is the global search where we can search the request number and different things and this is the links where we can access certain things like request something we can request something knowledge base we can access knowledge articles and this is the approval section where we can get the approvals and this is the my open incident link where we can see the list of incident and this is the announcement where we can get the updates for current organization and this is the current status of any application whether it is down and this is the top rated articles which is viewable by different users so who uses service portal several different kinds of users can configure a portal so limited coding service portal was designed so that even users with limited coding availability or knowledge of the platform ui could set up a portal service now expert user with an understanding of service now platform can create portals set up url redirects and view all the components of portal in a table so most configuration takes place in service portal configuration page but in some circumstances service portal administrator may need to do additional configuration directly within the platform so here comes developers where they can do advanced customization on certain widget or create a new widget according to the customer requirement and it includes experienced on angular js and bootstrap in all cases user configuring a portal must have admin or sp underscore admin role so what are the basic concepts of service portal so we should have some basic understanding for all the components that make up a portal so portal generally includes themes pages widgets so themes generally define the look and feel of complete portal but can be overwritten according to the customer requirement pages so pages can control where and how you store portal content pages do not have a defined relationship to the portal records 
widgets components in service portal are called widgets you we can use html template css client script server script and javascript dependencies to define what a widget is able to do so from an angular js standpoint widget are essentially a superset of an angular directive most of the data in service portal is managed in different locations throughout the system for example if you are building a knowledge portal the data exists in service portal but the knowledge articles are authored and managed in knowledge application so additional resource service portal is built with several well known technologies use the following website as resources to help you understand and configure your portal bootstrap css3 flexbox angular javascript thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it